Hello and welcome back to the third part of this video. In the previous parts we got to know the major UI frameworks and UI tools and learned that many of these technologies might already be available in your existing application server. We also talked about transition paths that might be possible depending on your environment. In this video I would like to complete the picture with one final aspect, the UI clients. I have already mentioned the huge amount of applications and screens that have been developed by SAP, its partners and its customers. So we need to assume that these will remain for a longer period of time depending on the individual use case. Due to this fact, you might already be wondering how these classic applications could be combined and harmonized with new applications. The answer to this question is provided by the UI clients. Starting with the SAP GUI, this client can easily consume applications developed based on Dynpro ABAP. If they are combined with other applications based on other technologies, however, you will need a solution beyond SAP GUI. The SAP NetWeaver Business Client and the SAP Enterprise Portal can both deliver one single entry point, where a user can work with multiple technologies inside one frame, which is usually named as the canvas of a UI client. You can find more about the shell and canvas concept in the SAP UX Explorer. To complete the picture, we should also mention the SAP Fiori Launchpad. This launchpad was mainly intended as a standalone UI client for SAP Fiori applications. Running standalone, it can also integrate WebDUN Pro ABAP and DUN Pro ABAP. However, the SAP NetWeaver Business Client and the SAP Enterprise Portal remain the UI clients with the strongest integration capabilities and are more recommended for extensive integration cases. Important, please be aware that my intention with this video is to provide you with insight into the options and transition paths available to you. I am obviously not aware of your current situation and environment, neither does this video cover all detailed requirements that might occur. As such, please be sure to use additional information provided by SAP, such as the product availability matrix, the SAP notes related to your path, or start with the SAP UX Explorer. I hope you enjoyed the series of videos about the transition options available to you. Let me know what you think in the comments section and stay tuned for other videos coming soon.